What's up everybody, Josie here, and today I'm bringing you a, I guess a review of this Captain Marvel doll that I picked up uh, yesterday at uh, Target. Um, now I believe this was just released because uh, it was not there last week, so I think it's it's brand new. And uh, yeah, I guess this, is, this is a weird sort of video for me because I'm usually not in, into these sort of things, but uh, my daughter has been into uh, dolls. And so I've been getting her like these nerdy uh, superhero dolls, you know, kind of like introduce her to uh, this sort of stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Marvel Rising figures as well as the uh, the DC superhero girls. Um, and I was just complaining the other day, probably literally that yesterday, right before I walked to the aisle, because I was gonna uh, buy another one of the Marvel Rising dolls, and I was just complaining that. Why they don't have a Captain Marvel doll? Since uh, they advertise it on the uh, on the cartoon, it's the line is based on. So I've always found it weird that they did not include it. And my guess was that they were probably waiting for the movie to come out before they released the doll. And I walk by, and instead I find this a Marvel, a Captain Marvel doll. Uh, not a, a Marvel Rising's, but uh, it's a lot of the same aesthetics, uh, and it. It is Hasbro as well, so it's easy to draw comparisons, and which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, so before you're opening opening it up, you kind of see um, they kind of go for a more realistic approach uh, on her face to try and make it look like Brie Larson. Um, I give it like an A for effort. Uh, the similarities isn't exactly there. Uh, I mean, there's it's subtle, I guess. It doesn't look too bad. I don't think it looks terrible. Um, like I don't know if you ever, if you guys ever seen the uh, the the Disney uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast doll they released uh, for um, the live action remake. Uh, that one had a, a very realistic face, and it just looked terrible. Uh, this doesn't look that bad. Uh, I think it looks cool. It's okay. Uh, the costume it's a very simple um, material. And it comes with the cat um, and a backpack. Uh, so just by looking at it, um, I think it's cool. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a bit let, let down by the costume. I wish it would have more uh, texture, maybe some more plastic, like a, for a belt or something like that. Instead of just like one single cloth piece. Um, but yeah, I think I think it looks cool. Um, let me show you the back of the package. So that's uh, what the figure is based on, and I think it's a I think it's a great look. I love that look. Um, and they also advertise this doll. Now this one weirds me out. Um, that headpiece it looks totally weird. Uh, they did not have this in the store, so it's probably not even out yet. Uh, and I do want to look at that in person to see how it looks. Uh, but as you can see there, they add a uh, plastic on the belt there. So I would love I would have loved to see that piece on this one, but like. Uh, match the color scheme or something similar uh, to add more texture. I don't think the headpiece is working, uh, so I'm glad this one doesn't have one. Uh, but that's cool. Um, anyways, let's open it up and see what, what it's like. Okay, so here she is outside of the box, and uh, I gotta say, uh, the costume kind of looks. Uh, now that I'm holding it. Um, I, th I thought this was like thinner, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's not it's not that bad. Uh, but I do wish it had more texture, specifically like right here. Um, uh, maybe the the emblem or um, they could have done like some cool plastic thing, and like on the belt buckle. Uh, to like just like I said, give the the suit more texture, and make it stand out more from far away. Cause like that, it's just it's very obvious it's printed. Uh, so very obviously this is not I do not believe this is meant for collectors this is meant for playing and maybe that that's why they don't have all those details to keep the cost down uh, but it comes with the cat and the backpack and honestly I do not care for this at all uh, I would have preferred them not have this at all and just uh, kind of go all out on the suit um, this this doll was I think it was a bit too pricey for uh the price point was a bit too high for what we get uh it was uh if I remember correctly it was twenty five dollars so again it's a bit too high uh by comparison uh the Marvel Rising figures those 
are twenty bucks, and I feel I feel like there's more detail in their costumes, and you get a little bit more for that same price point or for or cheaper. I think. Uh, I mean, unless you really care about the cat. Uh, I mean, this is for my daughter. My daughter's three, uh, so she's gonna love this cat and this backpack. Like for her, she's gonna love this. So I know she'll like that. Uh, but for me, I'm kind of like ah. But I guess I guess I guess it's not. I know it's not for me, so I guess it's okay. But I feel like they could have done more for that price point. Um, I'm pretty happy with the articulation. It's got a articulation in the or is this the thighs, the thighs uh, twist. You know the hinges right there. Uh, it's got a double uh, a double joint knee, uh, so it goes all the way back. It's pretty cool. Um, there's no articulation on the feet, but that's okay. The boots uh, are not molded on. You could take them off. It's pretty cool. Uh, she comes, her hands are balled up in fists. And I don't know, when I was looking at it, it was a little bit weird, but I don't know. I, feel, I think it's kind of cool that she's always in this power stance. Yeah. So that's that's pretty badass. Um, uh, the jacket, I actually, I actually really like this texture. Uh, once it's out of the box, it's a uh, it's different. Uh, it's different material than this. Uh, it feels like more, more. It uh, yeah, it's a different texture than the costume, so it's a pretty cool. Uh, contrast. Um, it does come off, and her sleeves are. Uh, do have the, the Captain Marvel costume um, print all the way down. Uh, so again, that's cool. If you don't want to rock the jacket. Um, the arms come off kind of easy. I don't want to pull it off right now because, as you can see right there, it's already halfway popping out. So, I don't know. I feel like it would have been cool instead of like, like skipping the cat and adding like uh, maybe a, a separate uh, set of hands, you know, more uh, like open. That would that could have been cool as well. Uh, like I said, the face, uh, you know, is not bad. I think it's okay. It's not uh, distracting. It looks okay. Uh, the hair, I mean, hair for dolls, I don't, it's, it's it, it always looks cool the first day you open it. And then after you're playing it for, for a while, they're all going to be messy. I'm still trying to de detangle my daughter's or Rapunzel doll hair. Uh, but anyways, uh... Uh, she does stand on her own. Uh, it's, it looks a little bit difficult to, to do it, uh, but she does uh, in certain poses. Uh, it's not as easy as some of the uh, Marvel Rising figures. Uh, and since I'm talking a lot about Marvel Rising, um, let, let me show you one of the dolls. So right here I have a... Uh, this is a Quake, uh, Daisy Johnson. And uh, so the face in these Marvel... Rising Dolls obviously go more cartoonish, which is goes with the cartoon aesthetic, which is cool. But the main reason I want to compare them is just the costume itself. Uh, so as you can see, this has like a more, it's a thicker texture. It's actually a jacket. Um, uh, I think I, I would prefer something like this for the whole suit. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like it makes more sense for her. Uh, but what I meant about like having adding plastic, like maybe in the belt. You see how she has this plastic here? there and she has these gauntlets see this plastic here and she has this, this like a uh, power effect sort of thing which is pretty cool uh so that's what i meant by adding like plastic to this to give it the costume more texture because when you see when you see it from far away i feel like this looks a bit more visually interesting and i feel like a kid will be more likely to play with this just because i don't know that's maybe that's that's just how i feel uh so again I personally, I would have paid more for this than that. The only reason this this price is so high on this one, my guess is just because it's, it uh it coincides with the release of the movie. Uh, maybe it's they're going for a more realistic approach. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the dolls are pretty similar. Similar. I mean, I I could leave them in the same set, or my daughter could play with all of them, and it'll be fine. Like they're they're not jarring, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they have a lot of the same uh. This, the articulation is pretty much identical. You know, zero hips, um, no hip swivels. The head is basically the same, you know. So, for all intents and purposes, the same line of figures. Uh, so, anyways, I think I just went 
too long on this video. Uh, let me let me know. Go, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing this doll, have you guys seen this? And uh, does anybody else? Does anybody have that weird one? Does anyone have that one? I want to know. Uh, if that one looks any better in person, because I think that looks pretty bad. Uh, so I'm really curious about that one. Uh, unfortunately, I did not see it in the store. So please let me know if you have that one. And anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.